Welcome friends. Welcome to the VW Cutworm, R Worm, Musty Worm, um, Maynard Worm, and all them other VW Worm channel. What we're doing today is we're taking another peek at the little 68 red Volkswagen and I made some inquiries and uh, I found out I can buy a new one of these or recondition or some kind of a new one of these things if it's a type so and so nine or something which I can't tell for forty seven dollars I think get the cap rotor the distributor and then I can cram that in the hole and these fuel pumps cause is uh, I think about twenty seven dollars and I got a, a bid on some carburetors this is a Solex what does it say ah, Solex two something yeah somebody's saying yeah that's what it is of course they know it I know it's like working on a spaceship to me stuff here. Well, it don't cause fire. It says 30 pick 2. 30 pick 2. And it's a H5194561 engine. And that's all I know about it. This thing here turns. And the uh, the little holder is kind of melted a little bit. Figure the other one's gone, the other one's gone. But the brushes look good in there. And uh, it's got a bunch of fried stuff. Let me see if there's something in here. He said, let me see what's in here. Hey, Aroma Mahara. That's went to Memphis there, boys. Look at that little teardrop thing. And then the it had a little plastic cover on top, which I don't. And it's melted too. Bless its little heart. Points are breaking about six. And I call that good. It was stuck a little bit. Now yeah, there's a mark there. I don't know who did that. It was stuck a little bit, but I took my hand and knocked it loose. And it will go. Oh, I checked the implant. That's tight. But you can turn the engine, and it will turn. Well, that's good as far as I know and uh, hmm I don't know what else to do besides get some electrical stuff going and uh, clean it up it's got says it's got Earl in it all the way to the mark and, but, and I've watched probably a hundred videos last night about changing oil in these rascals and uh, they don't have an oil pump or oil filter which you all know besides before me. And, oh, I, and lots of other things they don't have. I guess they don't need it. But oh my gosh. It's crispy critter here. Men's and gentlemen's and women's. And uh, I'll have the fun of finding out where all this Uber stuff goes. This is kind of like a cable here, Larry. And 
Mary. No, it ain't. It's hooked to the corner. It goes somewhere, I reckon. And this is something, I reckon, goes around the back. So, it's just like a big puzzle, which I like big puzzles. And... Crispy! Crispy, crispy. So, uh... I don't know what to start with next besides get it cleaned up a little bit and drop the oil out of it and cram some more oil in it and then see if it'll turn over kind of hot wire the starter or cold wire it and then try to start it as far as I can tell uh, I haven't pulled any spark plugs out of it because right now I don't have no idea I mean I know where they're at but I don't know who who from and what him is. But let me get y'all off this stand so uh Hold on to your chairs boys This might be a bumpy ride How the heck does this thing There's got to be a lever on it somewhere Oh there it is Found it Okay, sometimes these tripods are more trying than pods. Let's go under this for the first time. I've not looked under it except to hook up the chains. Okay. Uh. Well, I see some of the engine stuff. <laughs> yeah, do. There's the thing where the oil is in. And yeah, lots of stuff. Some guy stopped me, or stopped out here, and says, uh, boy, you think you got enough chains on that little bug? And I said, I hope so. It's already chewed through two sets. This is a minor concern since I'm going to try and use it to get up with. Uh, don't get old. Yeah, you get, everybody get old, but don't get this old. Give you one last little peek of the, of the things that are marvelous. And stuff. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. I don't think it'd be any kind of a trouble. What little bit I know about them, which is nothing. But howsoever, that's the way it is today. Let me try and get this out here where y'all can't see me. Hi, folks. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their birthday wishes and their well wishes and their three fishes and four loaves and uh, and uh, thank you for the cards and the presents and uh, I love y'all and thank you so much I don't deserve none of this stuff but it's out of the goodness of your heart that you think of me and I appreciate that and uh, I know your worth it took me 56 years well I figured it out probably when I was in my 20s, the worth of people. And their people are, are the reason that we're going forward and then that we, we're going to win this battle is just from people. And uh, let's look inside before I start preaching. Okay. It don't look so bad today, does it, boys and girls? What's he doing? He must be drunk. No, I'm not drunk. The only beer I've ever drunk in my life, I drank right over there. And it really stunk. Bless his little heart. But, however, y'all have told me, watch me fall through this little rascal. Crutch. That's. Y'all have told me what this was, which is pretty sweet. 
Of course, you can't close the darn. I mean, I should close that because I can't get it open probably. And now you tell me what this was. I better tighten that back up. I don't know if you can see that. Tell me what that was. That's so good. And it's had a whole bunch of stuff glued under here. Glued, 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 glued. And I'm a little bit upset that my heater, that my heater knob shifter things are off. Because I think having an extra bunch of shifters, the more shifters you have, the better shifter you are. And uh, I watched last night VW64 Darren, or not Darren, I'm thinking of Darren because he's puny. By the way, Mr. Darren, I love you. You can get better. And you're the reason why I'm out here today. You told us to do what's right, and I'm trying to do what's right. But anyway, 64 VW Maynard showed me how to fix that last night. I had to watch it about five times, but I figured it out with his help, of course. But anyway, we're not going to do it one-handed. And he mentioned getting a shifter, this part here, off of a bus because they're shorter throwed. And, and making that fit. So I don't know if, if I'm going to find one with a bus. It took me a hundred years to find a... What in the world is that? hundred years to find this one. This Volkswagen. They're just not here. I've come to the conclusion that Volkswagen was never allowed over the border. And this one kind of snuck in at night. Speaking at night. I hope you guys can read this. Somebody got some Pink Floyd up there and some No Perry's Land and Feb Snow stuff and uh, Jean Snow, uh, Vern Gosden, Webb Pierce, all that other stuff been put up here, Peace Love and, and Fresh Underwear. They've just been writing all over this little rascal. I think that's pretty cool. If I had my way, that would stay on there. I might even add to it. But then again, you know, I'm a different. Oh, don't fall through this thing. And, uh, I've got another Volkswagen in the works, if I can trick the guy out of it. He's kind of a squirrel. And, uh, he's been snaggling me around and stuff. So, uh, I don't know if I can get this thing done or not. I'm trying to do the best I can for him and for me, too. And he don't know what he wants. What was that? Was that me? you got to watch out because these squirrels will climb right up your britches leg. And the, they're the four-legged kind. Not the two-legged kind that's got the Volkswagens. So, that's going to need a little bit of Psygodlin and stuff. So, oh sorry, there, how lovely, man I thought it had a hole in that wheel, it was just a stick, but there she be. and all of it's glowy. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's see, what do they say? They say, uh, uh, Musty One says, thank y'all for watching, commenting, and prescribing, and, uh, y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll add that I love you and take care of each other, okay? Now tell me how to shut this, this thing off. I'm gonna do it this way this time.